Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles have caught fire, winning their last eight games as they head into their second to last non-conference game of the regular season tomorrow night. Now it is a big one. The Golden Eagles look to take their game to another level when they host ranked Ole Miss. Golden Eagles were competitive the last time they met, but only for about five innings before being blown out 11-2 at Trustmark Park. USM has lost the last five meetings in the series. The last win coming in April of 2016. First pitch at Pete Taylor set for 6 p.m. Fresh off of a weekend sweep of the Georgia Bulldogs, the Diamond Dogs of MSU have added a midweek game against Louisiana Tech to their schedule. The two teams will tango at Duty Noble Field on Tuesday, May 14th. Admission to that game will be free, while the Salvation Army will be on site, accepting donations that will go to support Louisiana Tech University's campus, which was struck by a tornado last week. First pitch for the game is set for 630. On Monday night, Nate Lowe became the 60th Diamond Dog to become a major leaguer. Designated hitter who spent the 2016 season in Starkville laced this double to the wall in his third at bat against Kansas City for his first career base knock. 13th round draft pick of the Rays in 2016 also walked in his first career game. He described the moment after Tampa Bay's league leading 19th win of the year. Kind of uncomfortable at first and then uh, been a long day getting here and then uh, being able to put a ball in a barrel and run all the way to second is something I feel like I can get used to doing a whole lot here. So it's a whole lot of excitement. You know, some guys coming up talk about feeling like they belong in places and uh, being able to hammer that ball in the gap, you know, definitely makes me feel like I belong here. And, you know, I'm excited to see what the rest of the season holds. Low back in the Tampa Bay lineup tonight, batted fifth, played first base. Vegas has released their 2019 NFL odds that give the New Orleans Saints the third best chance to win this year's Super Bowl. Patriots and Chiefs share the best odds in the league. Saints have a 4-1 to shot to win the conference, and they're the runaway favorite to win the NFC South again. Vegas putting the Saints at 10.5 for their over-under and wins for the upcoming season. And now all you got to do, folks, hit the sports books and put some money on New Orleans. Demolition began this week at the Talladega Super Speedway as it prepares to start phase two of the infield transformation. Four-time Talladega winner Bobby Allison helping get that work started by waving the cream flag as workers began to tear down the current Gatorade Victory Lane. The area targeted for demolition includes Victory Lane, the old scoring stand, the NASCAR Xfinity Series garage, the fuel station, the paddock club, and part of the media center. Tearing down some of the buildings will make way for something Speedway Chairman Grant Lynch promises will be bigger and better. The Super Speedway hopes to open the garage fan experience in about six months, just in time for October race weekend. And San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich is expected to sign a three-year contract that will keep him the highest paid coach in the NBA. 70-year-old told reporters this week that he was negotiating a new contract and would have more details at a later date. Pop is third on the all-time wins list for his career. He's won five NBA championships as the coach of the Spurs. He'll coach Team USA in the FIBA World Cup and the Olympics in 2020.